All right, so you're here learning to level your build plate. Today we're going to learn how to level a build plate on a resin 3D printer. I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to do this. And if you stick around to the end, I'll also show you how to do it if you've already got resin in your 3D printer's resin vat. All right, guys, so despite the printer you have, let's go over some basics. This part here is your resin 3D printer's build plate. This part is what we call the resin 3D printer's vat. This is your screen. The way this printer works is this is filled with resin. This build screen comes down. Your screen turns on the portion of it that it needs to harden to build your 3D print. And then this lifts and it does that repeatedly over and over. The reason we need to level a build plate is because if this sits at an odd angle with one side tilted up, it will cure this side to the build plate, but this side will not adhere to the build plate and you'll get cured resin sitting inside your resin bat, which will inadvertently damage this small film called your FEP that is at the bottom of your resin bat. So in order to prevent that from happening, we need to do a process called leveling our build plate. Now before moving further, I wanna point out one thing. Some printers come with and can be purchased aftermarket a screen protector. This helps prevent resin if it spills from getting onto your expensive LCD screen portion of your printer. This, if you're going to run it, needs to be on before you level your build plate. Additionally, if you are going to use a build plate with a magnetic build plate attachment, this also needs to be installed before you level your build plate. And if you install one of these after you've already leveled your machine, then you will need to re-level your machine before you proceed with printing. So on to the leveling process. How does this work? First and foremost, if you've just purchased a brand new printer, you're going to want to go ahead and look at your printer's instructions. It usually comes with a bed leveling card. If you want to go by the books, that's technically how you should do it. However, after the first time I've leveled my printer, I've never once been able to find the card again and I found that that's not necessary, and typically it doesn't work as good as leveling it in this method. So what you'll want to do um, is go ahead and install your screen protector, install your resin vat, go ahead and make sure your FEP film is in there, go ahead and tighten down your build plate onto your arm, onto your uh, Z-axis arm, and then your 3D printer will come with the correct size Allen key, I just so happen to like these long handled ones better. Um, what you want to do is loosen these four screws around your build plate. Of the three or four resin printers I've owned, all have been this style. There may be other styles out there, but if you have this style build plate, this will work for you. So you want to loosen these four screws just enough so that this can move freely. Once you have loosened it enough for that to move freely, you're going to want to go to the menu on your printer. And it's different for every printer. So this one, it looks like you go to Tools. You go to Move Z-Axis. And there should be a button that says Home. And so we're going to click the Home button. It's going to automatically turn itself into its home position. And the reason we loosened this is that way, as it's lowering itself to its home position, which is what it considers to be flat against the screen. We want this thing to rest, be able to move without resistance so that wherever it says, we can tighten it down right there. Okay, once your printer has homed itself, the next step is going to be to apply gentle downward pressure, not firm, you don't want to damage your screen, hold gentle downward pressure, take your Allen key, and go ahead and tighten your four screws. I like to alternate sides and also alternate front to back. And we're just holding gentle downward pressure so that this build plate maintains level contact with our screen. Once all four screws have been tightened. I like to go around and just snug each one up in 
an extra cinch. My experience has been that these do not easily come loose over time unless you leave these screws too loose. However, when you first get a, a resin printer, um, you're going to want to go ahead and check these periodically um, because I found that they occasionally do come loose, but that's typically when the printer's new. As the printer ages and it's gotten more use and more grime gets in here, I don't find that these come loose as much. At this point, you can also zero your Z axis, and that will set a new home position for this printer. And you don't have to do this, but you can do this. And to do that, you click zero and click enter. And that's it, guys. It's now been reset to home at this exact position. It's been locked down to home in this exact position. And once you click OK, it should go ahead and return itself up to let you get ready to start 3D printing. All right, and we're done. All right, so the bonus content I promised you guys, I'm going to show you how I level my resin build plate if somehow it's come loose and there is resin in the vat. This doesn't happen very often, but occasionally it does. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it so that you don't have to clean out your resin vat each time this needs to happen. So same as before, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure your build plate is firmly attached to your Z-axis arm. If you have any attachments, such as a magnetic build plate, those need to be in place. And you need to make sure that your um, resin vat is secured to your 3D printer. Once you've checked all of those things, it's actually a fairly simple process, just like before. You're going to want to go ahead and loosen the four screws holding your build plate. And once those are loosened enough that this can move freely, it's actually going to be the same process as before. We're going to go to, let's see, this one is also tools. And we are going to go to manual and we're going to click home. And this, just like before, is going to take the build plate and set it flat against screen or technically your uh, FEP film on top of your resin screen. All right, guys, once it has stopped moving, it's a good idea to have gloves on for this portion. Um, if your build plate has arms that go up the sides, you can use those. However, if it does not, you will have to use two fingers to flatten your build plate against the LCD screen. And again, it's gentle downward pressure. And then once you've got it flush against um, the bottom, you're going to go ahead and just like before using a crisscross method, method alternating front to back, you're going to want to go ahead and lock into place these four screws. Sorry, it's really hard to do this on camera, guys. All right. And again, we're just holding gentle downward pressure on this build plate as we lock it into place. All right, that's three, that's four, and now we're gonna simply go around and snug down each one if it will move anymore. And I'm gonna grab a paper towel and go ahead and snug the last two down here. And these long handle Allen keys are great for this because you can Simply go from the side of your resin vat here and it will reach long enough, which is great. All right, and just like before, we're going to go ahead and go back and set zero. It's going to say confirm, and we're going to click confirm, and that's it. This one doesn't automatically go up once you're done, so you need to click manual, manually move it up. Oh man, it looks like I even spilled a little bit of resin. Oh, well. Another pro tip, guys, if you've got resin on your build plate and you're just raising it up, let it sit low for a little while. That way you don't get the splash from the resin um, while this is draining the resin back into the vat. All right, I hope that helped you level your build plate on either an empty or a full 3D printer. If you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down below. If you've got any useful tips or tricks that you know of to keep these build plates level or ways that you like to do it that are different than mine, let me know. Ciao! Ciao, 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 ciao!
I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I'm really having fun making this content. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Got some great other tutorials on there. So if you're looking to get into 3D printing, electroplating, workshop stuff, go check my channel out. I think you'll find a lot of stuff you enjoy. As always, guys, build some cool stuff. I'll see you on the next one.